the whole TikTok ban debate that is happening in the USA. I think this is the time for me to air out my point of view as a black creator from Africa. I have two things, one very good one and also one very bad one that I have experienced as a creator on TikTok. First and foremost, TikTok has helped me be able to be creative. And I know everyone says this, but I can't comprehend the amount of creativity that has been enhanced through using this app that has been so hard with the other social media platforms. One thing about this TikTok app, if you are creative about your art, you're going to find the people that love you for that. It's going to reach to audiences that you could never have reached using the other app. I realize that TikTok, they have less favorites kind of situation. You create your content. If it's good, it's going to reach out. You're going to find the people that love your kind of content and it's going to enhance your creativity. TikTok has so many amazing functions as compared to other social media apps. That, and that kind of just makes content creation simplified. And you find that because the app has all these beautiful functions, other apps are now trying to bring those beautiful functions as well. And my question is, all this time you could do that, but why weren't you doing it? for your creators. It also comes to the creator fund and all that kind of stuff that TikTok gives. And then the other apps also start to give that besides YouTube. Let's say Instagram starts to do the same thing. And once the debate starts, they're like holding that off, the Reels fund. And that just rounds up to the concept of selfishness. People are using these apps. People are investing money to use these apps, by the way. Data is not for free. And then the little you can do to give them back, you want to take it away. So that's why I love TikTok. And that leads me to the second point. African creators gather. I want you to tell me I'm from Uganda. And we do not benefit financially when it comes to the creator fund in either apps. This just astonishes me. Africa being a huge continent, there are so many people that use these social media platforms. But when it comes to the point of benefiting, it's like they do not consider Africa. It's like the creators there do not create content enough to be able to benefit from these apps financially. I think this is a moment for you, TikTok, to consider. A few days ago, I accepted the terms and conditions that we're trying to make TikTok more inclusive. I think when you're talking about inclusivity, look at the benefits that can reach out to African creators as well, who are in African countries. All these benefits start from elsewhere. They never reach Africa. They never reach African content creators. You guys, if like all the African creators left these apps, you're going to suffer a great loss, which you do not know. We are out here creating content. People are loving it. We are connected to different people of the world, people in Europe, people in America, people in Asia. But at the end of the day, you guys are not considering these African creators in terms of all these TikTok and social media benefits. Let's talk about gifts. People send gifts to Ugandan creators. I'll talk about Uganda. And I need to know, like, you guys, um, how in other countries in Africa, if you guys are really benefiting from this creator fund, let me know in the comments. Do you guys, are you able even to convert your gifts that you receive on live broadcasts into, like, cash as it is in other countries? You guys give PayPal as an option for someone to do their transactions, but, but you don't first find out that is even this kind of payment method available to the creators in that country. There are options like Airtel money. There are options like 
empty and money. You could use that. I think it's time as African creators also, let's stand up and also speak the things that kind of press us down from using these apps. We are so many people in Africa. Maybe the owners of these social media platforms still think that Africa is a country. Do not feel at a disadvantage if the creators all left these apps and stop using. Africa is a continent. It's the second biggest continent in the world. It has huge consumers. It has huge users. There are so many people that use and influence great influence on these apps and it's high time you guys put into consideration just don't talk about inclusivity as a word practically implement this inclusivity i hope my video doesn't reach like the bad side of tiktok i'm not trying to say this to fight the app i really love this app this app has helped me grow my creativity financially i'm still working it out but i'm just saying TikTok, it's time for you all to reach out to also African creators. When you are talking of the marketplace, you find that the options of jobs or like of collabs for the marketplace for people in, in Africa is so much limited. You find all these creator market jobs that are specific about only people in the US, only people in America, only people in Europe. And you find that great content creators in the African countries that have a great influence cannot even access this. Like you just want them to use their money to buy internet, to buy good gadgets, download the apps, tell people TikTok is nice. And yet in the long run, they will need to also benefit from this app. All in all, TikTok has been a great app for us content creators, at least for me and for most people in the African continent. We've been able to reach out to audiences. We've been able to share creativity. It has created this virtual family where creators from different parts of the world come and appreciate one another. I personally create so many different content about Africa continent, loving our cultures seeing our differences and similarities and loving them i do so much content about modeling i do so much content like that is creative within the african continent and the continents around the world and in case tiktok is banned because i'll be in the us in a few please come follow me on youtube and let's keep vibing